I thank the member for his contribution. I give the call to the member for Hotham. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And I want to acknowledge the contribution of the member for Longman and the others who have said their words on what has been a, a really good debate and probably one of the few times in this House that I've felt there's a, a sense of civility and united purpose behind what we're here to discuss. I want to make a contribution today as a member of parliament, of course, as the member of Hotham representing my constituents, but also as someone who is a working mum. We have tried just about every type of childcare arrangement you can find in our household. We've had occasional care, we've had family day care, we've had traditional childcare, we've had me be a stay-at-home mum, my partner be a stay-at-home dad. Uh, I've sat on waiting lists for months. I've been in a situation where I can't find the childcare that I need. And just as being a young person in this chamber gives you a bit of a special insight into youth issues and perhaps uh, being someone from business gives you an insight into what's happening in the private sector, so too does being a user of this system give you a little bit of uh, insight into the challenges of this. And I just want to say to, to the parents out there who may be listening to this, we get it. There are people in this chamber who are struggling with these very issues. The circumstances may be wildly different. Uh, but we understand that this issue cuts right to the heart of how you live your life every day as a family, and we take that responsi responsibility very seriously. And I think that's why you see this level of civility in the chamber this afternoon. Now, as a Labor person, I think we've got a really proud history in trying to bring the importance of early childhood education right to the fore. Uh, and I think today there's general recognition across most of the, the kind of policy world and out in the general community that early childhood education is of critical importance. Mm -hmm. But it was actually Gough Whitlam back in the 70s who started the national conversation about this subject. And it was Gough Whitlam that put this on the agenda of the national government. And I think since then you've seen our successive Labor governments try to adapt the system to changing times. And I think we're seeing this conversation about changing times continue. And I want to provide a couple of reflections on some things that I think are changing, uh, some things that I think we do need to adapt the system to. Uh, before I do that, though, I do want to acknowledge the important work uh, that the current Shadow Minister did in this space. So we've heard uh, the words of uh, the member for Lawler here about the importance of quality, and that is a critical importance, Deputy Speaker. Uh, early childhood education is not just about looking after kids while mums go to work. That's very important but we can't forget the critical importance of those early years of education. And the Shadow Minister has been the one to put quality on the table time and time again when we have this debate, and I was pleased to hear her do that this afternoon. Now, one of the pieces of context I want to mention, Deputy Speaker, is that we know families have changed. And one of the reasons why we're having this discussion about childcare and how we deal with early childhood education is because we're continuing to see these trends. We're seeing uh, single parent households are a much bigger feature of our life and our economy than they were 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, we see the economic imperative that some of the other speakers have talked about, the importance of improving female workforce participation, which I know many in this chamber will be aware uh, that the Grattan Institute has actually suggested is a bigger economic growth lever for this country than tax reform. And just think about the the standard and the length and the detailed debate that we have about tax in this country versus early childhood education. So again, one reason why we welcome this debate. But an important thing also that I want to talk about is this growing notion of the importance of early learning. And it's very important, Deputy Speaker, to us in particular as Labor people because of the social justice angle to this. So we know that young Australians who are entering early learning are about twice as likely to experience developmental delays when they come from a low-income household versus a high-income household. We also know that early learning is the key to trying to ad address these disadvantages. So some of the work of the academics in these areas suggests that just one dollar that we spend on a child in early learning is worth an equivalent of seven dollars of spending later in life. So this is a really important way for us to ensure that we have equal opportunity for Australians. And I know again that this is something that uh, we do share in a general sense perhaps uh, with those on the other side of the house. Now I'm very pleased to hear um, the overtures of the minister and we've heard that our shadow minister has said that she's very comfortable going into these discussions with an open mind. But I do want to put on notice, Deputy Speaker, that the early signs that I see about policy development in this area do give me a little bit of cause for concern. So we've heard the government talk uh, at length about their commitment to families, but there are certain budget measures, including a billion dollars in cuts to childcare, that I'm not sure are supporting that, uh, that sentiment. 
Um, we've heard those on the other side of the House talk about the importance of uh, supporting women. Again, I'm not sure the evidence lines up there. But I'll say in the context of the bipartisanship, I'm keen to work with the government on this issue. Thank